I am DJ HD and I endorse Caribbean Insight, the number one Caribbean program. Why did the people, why everyone started calling you the Caribbean King of Comedy? <laughs> that was amazing. There was a time when spectacular promotions, and I don't, I'm not advertising them, but I'm saying spectacular promotions wanted to do my comedy show. And they started this show. And in three months, in Trinidad and Tobago, I did 42 sold out in three months. 42 sold out shows. You understand? And, you know, it, it, it was just going, going, going. And when I left Trinidad to go New York, same thing happened. It's like every time it's always sold out. And that happened for a few years keep selling out and selling out and selling out. So therefore, after a while, they put this crown on my head. The crown really heavy right now, eh? uh -huh. but they put this crown on my head and call me the king of comedy. Okay. Because wherever I go, that's how it used to be. Sold out. Sold out. Right. So England, yeah, are I waiting. <laughs> Well, hello there. You are watching Caribbean Inside TV, the engine room of culture. It's about time to welcome that man, Larry Joseph. We are back <laughs> on Caribbean Inside TV, and we are enjoying Sunny Trinidad and the company of mm. the king of comedy, mm. Caribbean comedy, Larry Joseph. Larry, uh -huh. listen. Uh -huh. Another, you see, these characters that you portray, uh -huh. you will have to tell us why. Why, why? did you choose the police officer? <laughs> because the police I, officer. When I was growing up, I always wanted to be a police, but I knew I was never going to get through. That is why I do it. <laughs> because, you know, nobody can give it to me. I give it to myself. You understand? Right. I like to play the police because you know the police, the police <laughs> have a way of having command and you know them kind of thing. Mm -hmm. I like to know that I'm in control. Okay. You understand what I mean? Okay. But I know fully well I was never going to get through the police force. Eh? Never. Uh. No, they wasn't going to take me. <laughs> <laughs> but I decided to do it myself. Become a police. And you made that cat. Yes, I buy my own uniform and buy everything. <laughs> <laughs> no, the government didn't give me no uniform. I buy it myself, you know. Oh. And I played. Yes, I played my character. I thought you got the. I thought you got a uniform. No, nobody gave it that to me. I went and purchased it. I'm not saying that I purchased it from the police service. Eh? <laughs> I went and purchased a shirt that looks like a police. I, I don't have the authentic one, but right. the, I purchased the, the 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 colors and the everything to make sure that I look in the right way. All right. right, but I wasn't going to get in the police force at all. I was thinking of doing that, and I know I, knew I wasn't going to get in, so I decided let me get in for myself, and that's why I just play police too. Mm. Mm -hmm. Because but sometimes people just want to tell you things, mm -hmm. and as a police, they wouldn't tell you. So you use these characters, especially police officer, in a defensive way. Uh -huh. So you could tell people what you want to tell them no, again. No, not just what I want to tell them, to tell them the truth. To tell them the truth. Yeah, because police is telling you what they want to tell you, not me, not this police. This police <laughs> is telling you what you need to know. You understand what I mean? Right. Good. You're right. You're playing around with them. No, I don't play around with that. We are chatting with the Caribbean's king of comedy, Mr. Larry Joseph. And we'll be right back with much more. It's okay, I'm talking to you people here. Tell all your friends, tell your family, tell everybody. We have to try and ease up the crime situation in the country. Because you work hard to deal with it, you know what I mean? Because you see, I went in the barracks to train to be a police. And what I don't understand is this. With the way everybody has gone in the country. <laughs> Why are you sending some of you out with this to me, eh? I don't understand that at all. And the next thing I don't understand is this. I wanted to be a police so bad because I thought about all kinds of things as a police officer. But when I graduate from the barracks and come out, they put me on a jammet squad. If every night I have to be running on jammet to lock them up for selling what God gives them. Now, 
The police commissioner don't only breed, size, shape, and some of these damage we have arrest, you know. Sometimes they just come from out of the blues. All they don't do what I won't do, eh? You know all you. Yeah? <laughs> I go on stay tonight. <laughs> uh -uh. Oh, this one I'm looking so. I only want a man who is real, because my business depends on this. Uh. Hello. Good night. You looking for me? No, I have a feeling this woman thinks I'm a masquerader, you know. <laughs> but all of you look on, you've all gone, right? Hello, good night. Good night. $50 for a shine? Night. Well, like she really feel like a masquerade. <laughs> Good night. What up, me? I'm coming to socialize or what? You would love that, eh? Look what it. Oh shit. This is that SRP? <laughs> You have no respect for the law? Regretfully, no. Hello? Listen. You looking for me? Listen, I am not a hard man. Wait tell me that for. Why are you finished talking? Yes? I am not a hard man. I'm willing to drop the charge if you desist from soliciting. You, you what from sir who? I will drop the charge if you stop worrying. So you want to use all the big words to tell me that? Me achieve nothing from nobody, you know? What I selling is mines. Mines! Oh, you're selling mines. You're the terrorist? Customers. Hello? You're looking for somebody? Uh, what's your name? A lot of. Hello? I want your same name. For China. Constitution to protect possible entries and leave me alone because I'm a consenting adult. Hello? You, look, you want a demonstration? Hmm? You don't realize how much trouble you could get in this hour night doing this, you know? The only trouble I see here so far is you. If you're standing up for me, at least I'm a prophet by it now. Listen, girl, you don't understand. You could get raped. You could pick up STDs. You know what that means? <laughs> I think it means stop. What do you know to the police for? STD means sexually transmitted diseases. Oh, that's what I mean by that. Why are you all this stupid ass? You try to tell me things and you don't want shit. Hey, 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 I see police out here, you know. That is what I mean. Are oh, they confusing everybody? You know how much women and children will be in their own house and get raped and shoot? 
police, call the police! inside and you are enjoying mm -hmm. the versatility mm -hmm. of the Caribbean king of comedy. Uh -huh. You're watching him from Andrew. Uh -huh. You see his scene with the hooker. Uh -huh. And now you see him as the police officer. Uh -huh. Larry, what else you have coming? I Anything have, new coming? I have a lot no, I have a lot of stuff, plenty of stuff. But you see the thing is you have to understand something. Uh -huh. If I'm doing a Larry Joseph in concert, uh -huh. I will have a I will add there are some favorite pieces that people love. Yes. I will add the favorite pieces and put 
some new ones in. Some That's new things so, added have, to it. I yeah. have to do it that way. Right. Because people just ask me for doing this and if I'm doing that and if I, you know, because these, these, are, these are things that they love plenty. Yeah, because you just really have them in yeah, Exactly, really, I have really. to. They you, pay their money, I have to have them in stitches, that's what they pay for. And Larry, mm -hmm. you have performed mm -hmm. in a lot of places all over the world. Yeah, Is there any place else in particular you would like to take your comical gospel to, Larry? Yeah, I would love to take my comedy to England at some point because I've never been there to do anything you know and I know a lot of my trainees and Caribbean people are there you know mm -hmm. and I would love to go there one day to to, to, to do this right mm -hmm. one of the places I would love to go back is to Canada also yeah, I've been there uh -huh. oh god it's beautiful what do you love about Canada well the first time I get snow on my back <laughs> it was like an experience <laughs> okay it was an experience it was an experience, you know, and um, thank God my wife was there with me, you know, you know both of us weren't feeling that cold. <laughs> <laughs> but Larry, uh, you, out of all the places that mm -hmm. you took this Caribbean comedy gospel mm -hmm. to, let's, I'm sure, what are some of the highs or, and lows that you experienced through some of those places? Darling, the only place I get lows, mm -hmm. the only... Is oh. it? I don't no, want to say I that. just, you know, your experiences now as, I, a, as a comedian. Watch me, I have had so many nice, nice experiences all over the place I went. Right. When I went to Canada, mm -hmm. the people, they enjoyed me and they loved it and they, you know, and they, 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 they want me to come back and do more and all kind of things, mm -hmm. right? One of the places I went to, um, to do my thing. I'm not talking about me in a show with other people. I'm talking about Larry Joseph. Larry Joseph, stand right? alone. Right, do by yourself. I went yeah. with in St. Vincent mm -hmm. last year, I think it was. Uh -huh. And let me tell you something. Not last year. Yeah, last year. When I went there, I was treated so good. Mm -hmm. I was treated as if I'm one of them, a Vincentian. You understand? I feel like I'm, I was even thinking of staying now. <laughs> <laughs> but they don't pay for this place in Trinidad, so I said, let me have to come back. And, <laughs> you understand? So, what I was saying is that they treated me so well there, and the people enjoyed me so much mm -hmm. that I was able to go back another two months after and do it again, and they enjoyed it mm -hmm. same way. I get whatever food I wanted to eat, you know, there wasn't, you know, it was nice, it was really nice, you know? It, yes, it, it remained, it, it, I see, that it remained, it left experience le stayed with me, that experience in St. Vincent, because St. Vincent is such a beautiful place, boy. Uh -huh. Oh God, Ralph Gonzalez, was he happy to live in there? <laughs> Larry. <laughs> Ralph, call me now. All right, TV family, let's meet Larry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you never know how would I end up so. <laughs> oh, you laughing at me? <laughs> well, let me tell you something. I could tell all you something <laughs> here, yeah, which I don't even bother to laugh at you. <laughs> Every part of the Caribbean I go. I just see all kind of thing, but it's only in Trinidad it is unique. <laughs> only in Trinidad, I just see people pay their money to come and watch a vagrant sleep. <laughs> So all your laugh. <laughs> <laughs> so if all you think something is stupid about me, think. <laughs> okay. So, so you're not going to happen now. <laughs> Are you going to lie down here? <laughs> or you're going to sit down there? <laughs> I'm going to sleep <laughs> and only going to laugh. <laughs>
Good night. <laughs> I don't want nobody bother me. <laughs> Because I'm very comfortable right now, okay? I had to take one fool to come here and disturb me, you know. Or a fool. It had to be a fool because I ain't. Come on, look. Good night. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord of mercy. I know it was going to take a fool. Police. Lord. Excuse me. What happened, your father? I mean, I know it's hurricane season, but oh God. You could have, uh, do it outside and come inside after? Oh, ships, man. Oh, Lord. Why did oh, you doing it? Eh? Lying down. Your know it's time to get up. Eh? It's morning already? <laughs> now, Which part are you living? Frederick Street. <laughs> Which part of Frederick Street? You're standing up in my bedroom right now, you know? <laughs> you know you're trespassing, right? Move from dinner, man. Shit. We can't sleep here and here at the same time. I just rule. <laughs> what are you doing with that bucket? Hey, 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 hey. And you have a toilet home? <laughs> you want to use my toilet axe, please? All the police there are no manners, you know. You ask with a decent mind, I'll give you a piece of paper too. <laughs> Chef's man, don't come by me and they, they, they demand thing from me. Hey, they come here to take no shit from no way, granted. Uh, <laughs> and I was just going to give him the empty, you know. <laughs> If it hold that you would have been one shit police. <laughs> oh God. You have any children? Yes. With them? They ain't coming yet. What bring you to live on the street, boy? Boy, which part I used to live before, boy? Them people used to make a set of noise. They, they, you girls, stupid and thing. I couldn't stay there. I had to leave and come here. Here, more comfortable, man. Quiet. Where you used to live before? Cambrian Square. <laughs> You're married? Yeah. Where your wife? She leave me for the neighbor. And where the neighbor live in? <laughs> Next door. She leave here for a midget or what? I mean, you know. Where did she leave you for? But you see the woman I roof over she head now? <laughs> eh? You think I could offer she that? Somebody buy an next fridge to get upstairs, yes? If they buy a washing machine, they will get a little TV room, yes? <laughs> And oh, where they is now? Well, they gone for dinner. This late hour? It's a late officer. The garbage truck can pick up the garbage, yeah? <laughs> you see, that's why a lot of people only complaining that they seen all your vagrants all over the place. Uh -huh, and people complaining they ain't seen police at all. <laughs> Maybe all your police should turn vagrant. <laughs> so people could see all you. Fruit man. When last you bid? When last rainfall? <laughs> we have in that bag. Hey, hey, you have a search warrant? <laughs> Who you want to see a search warrant for? The commissioner say ask for all your ID. I want to see your ID and your search warrant. Okay? Me are showing no vagrant. Hey! Hey! Homeless. Have some respect. <laughs> Me showing no homeless my ID. Well, I'm not talking to no police imposter. <laughs> you are important to me, you know. Uh -huh. So why are you talking to me? 
Listen, for your information, yeah. to me, you are nobody. Uh -huh. Well, you have to be one jackass police <laughs> to be talking to nobody. <laughs> you know how long you stand up there? Talking to nobody? <laughs> like all the police going mad now? It's only my people that get on, sir. That's why we had to get rid of all your vagrants. Hey, 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 I tell you, homeless. Homeless. It have a reason why we homeless exist. And what is that? So that police like you could look like all you're walking. <laughs> eh? Look over there, look at that two fellas over there, one with knife, one with cutlass, fighting, killing one another. Look at blood in the pavement there. Eh? But you leave them over there to come across here in my pile of garbage. <laughs> is garbage your lights out? <laughs> You see any of them have a gun? Huh? No. <laughs> they have cutlass and light. Look, one of them get a neck choke. Look, 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 at, look, he falling down. Look, wait a minute. You just need gun to chuck. <laughs> oh, you need a gun to get arrested. All you go ahead. <laughs> the police here only need gun. <laughs> hey. Where are they? You have a gun? As a police, I must have a gun. Lord of mercy. <laughs> You're renting it? <laughs> what do you want to do with a gun? Eh? You of all people should know that crime don't pay. Crime don't pay and you stand up there with a gun in your hand? You ain't getting paid? <laughs> <laughs> Some more people want to come lawyer and crime don't pay? Oh, yeah, yeah, you could fool somebody else. Mm -hmm. You still don't have a reason for wanting a gun. For protection. But don't worry, I will get one. From who? Yourself. Is oh, you figure that out? Yeah, hey, all your police thief and gun from police station. You must want to get rid of it. I hear? <laughs> <laughs> who telling you all this chop in this boy? Well, he's a man on the ground who does know everything, boy. All you too quiet up in the sky, they. All, all you. Eh? Eh, look at you. How long you use a police? Eh? Eh? How much arrests you make since you use a police? <laughs> the word is arrest. Eh, uh -huh, but go and tell Martin Joseph that now. <laughs> <laughs> See if you ain't lose your work day. Eh? The man arrests too. That plural arrests. <laughs> Look, get from there. Eh? Look, move from there, man. You're bringing a set of flies which were to sleep in. For your information, fly does follow sweet things. Eh, uh -huh, shit too. <laughs> Look, get from there, you're blocking traffic. Tell him but to put a overpass here too. <laughs> People passing over me. Eh? All the building fly over and walk over all over the place. People walking over me and flying over me. Put it here. What the hell you think it is? Is he a living? I find you getting on like you're drunken. Uh -huh, sir. Listen, I've had set a book selling all over the place. Uh -huh. Telling you about the bad effects of drinking. Get one or two and read it. But I read all what them books talk about drinking does do to you. And when I read that, I just give up reading. <laughs> So I'm bad, you know. Lord of mercy. Eh. So why you didn't call it? Eh? I'm not calling American Airlines for nothing. <laughs> eh, eh, alcoholic anonymous. Eh, eh, that is what it means? Eh? Or it's them. You know, I call them last week, and I get smoky and bunty. <laughs> Like they connected. You drink by, sm by smoking and then you go by eh? eh? And when you're fed up, then you go back by smoking. Eh? Uh -huh. Why didn't try dial a prayer? I dial a prayer last month and they tell me go to hell. <laughs> I don't know who it was, but they tell me that. Look, get from there. Eh? 
Get up from there. Where now? Right now. But what the hell? Yeah, yeah, my wife. Wait, wait a minute, let me ask. Why do you think I should get up? No. No? No. Only want me to get shoot. <laughs> I might be on the street, you know, but me ain't your pedal. Police with guns are up there and you tell me, don't get her. <laughs> Why you don't come and lie down here and don't get her? <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, I get up. <laughs> what now? <laughs> and this get up, you said I get up? I get up, eh? You stall? Hmm? <laughs> Look at you, eh? You is a police? Eh? How you get in the force, eh? They force you? Eh? Look at that, all your belly over your belt, all kind of thing. Eh? Look, 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 what is this? You telling me thing, man? Tomorrow's Independence Day, you ain't looking good, all your lacing on tie, fix it! Don't come and tell me thing and you ain't sort out yourself. Eh? Who is this? Eh? Come on, man. Hold that day for me. Don't play in your ass now, you know, give me your damn mouth. Shut up! Eh? Give me the gun. Ask your mouth! <laughs> well, like we have a violent crowd here. <laughs> you hear what they say, shoot you? <laughs> you want to come and do it? <laughs> Oh, look at him, you know? <laughs> I, I, I know what to do. I know what to do. Mm. I hear somebody say it. <laughs> Lie down. <laughs> Lie down! You're going to shoot me. Well, that is one stupid police. <laughs> you don't understand if I shoot you, you will lie down. <laughs> You won't have a choice then. <laughs> eh? So you better do it before you get shot. <laughs> eh? Are you don't sure? show? Eh? <laughs> what is wrong with you, man? Eh? All right, let me move this. Mm -hmm. You don't want to lie down. <laughs> you want to get shot. You want to make me commit a crime. And I'm not doing it. OK? All your police dog in the station? Go down there and find I out. I want to find out now. Back like one. Back! 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 Who? 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 <laughs> you know, let me put all joke and fun aside, okay? These instruments are very dangerous. I want everybody to tell the neighbor, the friend, the acquaintance, the children, the everybody, that we all as a nation try and get these things off the streets, please. Please. But I still have to go back to the police. <laughs> Somebody tell me shoot you. Won't tell me let you lie down. Eh? Eh? You have twenty dollars on you. <laughs> this is not a hole up, you know. It's a hole down. <laughs> twenty dollars. But only you begging for one dollar. Whole day I beg for a dollar. Twenty times I beg for a dollar today. I ain't get none. You will give it to me in wholesale. <laughs> I want a straight twenty from you. Thank you. Eh? Police making counterfeit now? <laughs> it real? You won't even know the difference. <laughs> that real? Yeah. Uh, put on your glasses. That's <laughs> I'm not giving you to hold your stupid around. <laughs> you want to get your hands shoved off? <laughs> I just get it. You want to take it? All right, officer. I'm going to give you back your gun now. You but, you. oh God, Hasha. How <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know that, you know him? <laughs> he said you're going to shoot me. So shoot him first then. <laughs> I could just hit you in your legs. 
you know? <laughs> now go slow you down a little bit. <laughs> Officer, let me get you back. You go, don't study them now. I'll give you back your gun. Wait now. Uh, hey, that's a good idea. <laughs> so when he bend down, wait, I kick him in the air. <laughs> He's so dotish. <laughs> Officer, I'm giving you back the gun, but please don't try to arrest me because I will tell him it's you that give it to me. Okay? Our witnesses. Hmm? You know how you will look? Eh? Stupid. What? Stupid. Like an ass. <laughs> I'm following your advice. <laughs> <Head> down. <laughs> Your bitch, I'm going to bring a squad and come back for your ass. I'm coming back for you. You're coming back, I'm going to move. <laughs> Officer, when are you coming back? When are you coming back? Give me a call, please. <laughs> oh, good. Oh, Lord of mercy, I don't know how we get the force, you know. <laughs> They are, they're bringing some dotish people inside the force. I got $20 here. I want to eat some food, boy. Let me just call up one of these places. All the, you see what phone come to now? Vagrant have phone. <laughs> <laughs> and I feel it's a better phone than the one you have, you know. <laughs> yeah, you see it, you see it. <laughs> it lighting up nice, you know. <laughs> you know what it mark, you know what it mark on the screen there? Eh? Free. <laughs> <laughs> Let me call KFC and see if I could get something from them. Oh, Lord. Hello? KFC? Yes, this uh -huh. is KFC. This is KFC? Only to sell chicken? Well, duh. <laughs> who is this? <laughs> Don't study who it is. Let me uh, ask you something. The, the, the three wings special for $21. How much for it? <laughs> Yeah, that's the one I'm talking about. Just now, let me find out. <laughs> hey, Rodney. <laughs> she find the tree special for twenty one dollars. How much for it? Who the ass I am this girl boy? Twenty one dollars. Hello, sir. Yeah. It's twenty one dollars for it. Well, duh. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Let me order. Um, give me the three wings special for twenty one dollars, mm -hmm. but don't put no wing in it. You want the three wings special, but don't put no wing in it. No, no, no. Give me two legs and a breast. Sir, the three wings special comes with three wings. You can't yeah. get no leg and no breast. Where yeah. is Villa Capri? <laughs> Look who's this boy. All right, all right, all right. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, let me ask you a question now. How much pieces the five piece come with? Just now, let me find out. Hey, Randy. The five piece, how much pieces it come with? They should fire the woman who hire she. <laughs> five pieces. Hello, sir. It's five pieces in it. <laughs> and you're calling me sir, thanks. Eh? <laughs> five pieces? I cannot tell you that. <laughs> okay, sir. All right. Uh, What's your phone number? It didn't come up on the screen. Is your number on the screen? Well, is I talking to you? Okay. Are you stupid for everything. What's or? your address, sir? My address? Frederick Street. What part of Frederick Street? Right in front of Mickles. Right in front of Mickles. Yeah. You see this kind of thing? Randy, you see this kind of thing? I fell up with this kind of thing, you know me again, you're not pay for this. Shit. Me. Let me get out of here before the police come here. Not be this thing. You're still here? Oh God, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, officer, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. I thought you're coming back with a squad. Eh? Oh, they Lord. didn't have no car. They didn't have no car? <laughs> well, duh. <laughs> Pick up your toilet paper. <laughs> you want it? <laughs> officer, officer, please, you know me, I am a very respectful man and thing. And I didn't mean to be so disrespectful to you and thing, because I have to respect the law and thing, right? I need to apologize to you, officer. I need to tell you something. I need to apologize to you, officer. I need to tell you something. You're the ass. <laughs> 
<laughs> we are back on Caribbean Inside TV and we are enjoying Sunny Trinidad and the company of the king of comedy, mm -hmm. Caribbean comedy, Larry Joseph. Larry, uh -huh. you you made people laugh uh -huh. in the midst of uh -huh. the perilous times. Yes, you know of course. That. Yes, yes. People are going through a lot mm -hmm. and just to have you there, mm -hmm. you stand with them mm -hmm. and you make them laugh. Mm -hmm. You you talked about growing up. Yeah. It wasn't easy for you and how you struggled through oh, it. Oh God, it was And when we look at this time, oh, we God. see what we have mm -hmm. is a lot of young people yeah. who are going through a lot of tough times and cannot deal with it. They're falling victim. What advice you have out there for them, boy? You see, my advice to young people yeah. is that you do not, you do not travel the road of nonsense. Okay? You have to want in life. I have always wanted something in life. Okay? And if you don't want something important in your life, you're going to be doing the wrong things all the time. Okay? You have to have a goal. You must have a, a, a place where you want to reach. A, 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 a catch of something that you want. And the only way you're going to get that, the only way you're going to get that is to make sure you not only sacrifice, but work for it. Because that's what I did, okay? I had people, I had nothing, absolutely nothing. I had no parents, no home, nothing, okay? I remember the time when I, Larry Joseph, used to live when my mother just walked out on all of us. You know, she had just taken me back after coming out of the orphanage. And that's just about a year or so after, she just left again. I was hmm. orphan again, hmm. twice, and I ended up sleeping in a gas station among the, the, the tanks, the cooking gas tanks. Me and my brother used to do that all the time. At that time, they really wasn't just think about stuff like that. But, you know, after a while, when they started to think about things like that, they, they move us from there, tell us. And then after that, I started to, 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 to live in old cars, okay? I've had a hard life when I was younger. But it never daunted my spirits for reaching somewhere, okay? Larry Joseph did not get... I never really ex wanted to be famous. I never wanted to be rich. All I wanted was to live, okay? Mm. And thank God I worked hard and kept... kept my... my direction and it took me to a place where I love now. So I'm asking young, I know young people these days, um, you, you have even more. You could get through to anything these days. You could get to anybody these days. Long time in my time, I couldn't see nobody. I couldn't talk to nobody. I couldn't, you know, like phone call nobody or nothing. You could do it these days and with phones and tablets and whatever it is they have now, you could do a whole lot. So people, young people, I'm begging you, try not to let your life go down a road where it's going to end up in disaster. Because I was in a so-called disastrous living and look at me now. Look at you now. Yeah. You feeling the breeze, people? <laughs> this is Larry Joseph Breeze, you know. <laughs> <laughs> this is my home I'm speaking in. And, you know, <clears throat> when I think about long time when I was younger and now, you know, I am very happy that I worked hard and sacrificed hard. Okay? Mm. Because now I have Lady V right by me. Because long time she, I would have to go by she to talk. <laughs> <laughs> you understand? Know that is what you don't understand. My life is really good now simply because, um, like I tell you, I, I'm not into the fame thing and all kind of thing, you know. It just came about that way, you know. Everybody know me and things like that. I'm not into all of that, I'm into living.
Yeah. And I into eating when my wife cook. <laughs> 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 because at that time, I never used to eat. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, guys, you've heard him. The Caribbean king of comedy, Mr. Larry Joseph. A master of the art. His major is comedy. <laughs> 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 and listen, I am really proud uh -huh. and glad that you took the time to pass on some information uh -huh. and some guidance to the youth yes, who of might be going through some of the struggles that you went yes, through as a young yes, man yes. and you didn't give up. I didn't, That's what don't Caribbean give up. Insight is about. Don't give up. Teaching, sharing, inspiring, and encouraging. So guys, when you get a chance, this is your perfect time to subscribe, share, and like so we can keep our culture alive. Hello. Answering my phone. Could I answer the phone? Why not? Should I answer the phone? <laughs> they say no phones in the audience. <laughs> you know, if I don't answer the phone, it's show us that. So should I answer it? All right. Well, I, it, it beeping, you know. Uh-huh. Uh Hello. This is Bill. Wait a minute. Ten years we married and you don't know the song that my voice yet? You're calling me Bill? I find this song like Bill. Uh-huh. Who is Bill? The fella who fixed my burglar proof. Uh-huh. That's why you're calling it now. <laughs> Your burglar proof? What you talking about, Jerome? Your burglar proof? Because this whole month we didn't have it, girl. I'm talking about my burglar proof by the window. That is exactly what I'm talking about because this whole month I ain't getting. <laughs> Stop talking shit now, Jerome. This uh -huh. is serious. It's serious, yes. Why are you calling for Bill on my phone? All the numbers similar. That is all you notice about me and Bill? I'm going to get mixed up. You get mixed up. You must get mixed up. You want to eat La Catan and Grammy Shell at the same time? <laughs> eh? What is this all about? It have a man in the house. Uh -huh. It take you a whole month to find out it have a man in your house. Look me standing up here. Oh gosh, Jerome. Bandits in the house. Bandits for what? Shut! Lord have mercy! You can call me and tell me that before I come inside this house, girl! Shh! Eh? <coughs> Which part you calling me from? Under the bed. <laughs> girl, what you doing under the bed? Suppose the bandit come inside the bedroom and catch you? I could stay quiet. You can't stay quiet. You have the call. You will cough. Come in the bedroom and get me in your room. I'm frightened. I frightened too. Suppose I come in the bedroom and he catch me? He not in here. Well, if he not in there, come out from under the bed. I so don't want to get kidnapped. But nobody don't want you. <laughs> oh, Shams Wandy call you. I have nothing. Eh, I is a woman. You know what can happen to me? Woman, since you start bodybuilding, you're gender adapting. <laughs> come out from under the bed and flex your muscle frame. You're afraid you. All right. Which part is right now? I in the living room. Eh? eh? I will protect you. Come the man. Eh? The last time bandit attack we run and leave me. I was practicing for the sports day the company had. <laughs> mm-hmm. And you ain't come first and none of the races you run. Listen, is that difference when you're running from a cutlass and when you're running in a sports race, you know. Yeah, you know I'm telling you. So come out from under the bed, no man. Shit, you can't protect me, Jerome. You're a coward. I prefer to be a coward girl. Eh? All them brave fellas is only memories now. <laughs> Not me and that. Hmm. All right. All right. I'm coming. Okay. <laughs> Who's that behind you? <laughs> Shit, man, Jerome. <laughs> Shims, man. Sorry, Nicole, is your shadow. <laughs> <laughs> Shims, man, you always playing the fool and people serious here, yeah, you know. <laughs> Shims. Wait a minute. You expect a bandit not to notice you looking so? Eh? <laughs> eh? You're glittering all over the place and you expect a bandit not to see it? What is that in your hand, girl? Pepper spray. Pepper spray, mm -hmm. bandit, hotter than that. Uh -huh. You call the police? They say they have no car. Well, I can't believe that. <laughs> you call 911? Oh, gosh, man, Jerome. Shims. All right, all right. You try five, five, five. The Ministry of Health says smoking dangerous for your health. Uh -huh. Shims. They ain't tell your bandit too. Look. Eh? 
Which is you and Bilham? You can remember. Uh -huh. That is the man who built the gate. Bill Gate. <laughs> oh, ho, he program you? You don't understand, Jerome. That is the man who fixed in the windows. Well, I don't expect Bill Gate to be fixing anything else but windows. <laughs> True. What you have a brother you? working in the police station. Call him. Hey, he does only clean the station. Uh -huh. Well, call him. Let him clean up this mess here. Look. Hey. What? Wait a minute. What? 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 I come in the yard there and walk in the house. May I hear the dog for the night? Dog. The dog. Well, I said feed the dog. Uh -huh. You didn't feed the dog? If you don't set me up, you know, dog is man's best friend. Go. Uh -huh. That dog ain't nobody friend right now, you know. <laughs> that dog must be holding the belly and bawling right now, girl. <laughs> hey. you, know you know what? You know what? You stand up there. Stand up right there. I will protect you from behind you. Wait, come from behind me. What you want to me for? I want to protect you if the man comes from behind me. I hear. <laughs> But suppose he come from in front. You have to have a spray in the eye. All right. You hold it. You see, man. No, no, no. Mm. Woman does look better praying pepper and hot water on man. You hold that. <laughs> I will stay here. Suppose he have a gun. If you have a gun, spray the pepper in the eye and duck. All right. Oh, oh shit, girl. Don't duck now. Hide behind here, you know. <laughs> you always play the fool, eh, Jerome? Jerome, what? A gun can reach more than a hundred feet. Uh -huh. This level story can only reach a yard. Uh -huh. Yes. Well, go in the yard. Why? You're gonna be closer to him. And, and where you gonna be? Right here, waiting on all of the gamba. Jerome, Jerome. Uh -huh. Shh. What? You hear that? What? You? Jerome, the toilet. What? Lord have mercy. Jo Jerome, what? The toilet. What? You hear the toilet flush? The toilet flush that is one shit me delivered right now, you know? <laughs> Jerome! What? The bandit! The bandit in the toilet! Jerome. I will go in the toilet and spread it, remember, you know him? Eh? Oh, gosh, Jerome, I'm talking shit, the man! Well, I'm talking shit, you doing shit, he's shitting for the air! <laughs> man! Jerome! What we gonna do? What we gonna do, Jerome? What we gonna do? What yeah. we gonna do? Why did you I do What? I have an idea. Oh God, I'm frightened. <laughs> what it is? You don't think the police will come faster uh -huh. if we tell them somebody dead? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yes. Who dead? Nobody, Jerome. I want you to play dead. Uh -huh. Me yes. to play dead? Hey, hey, yes. Whole month you have me playing dead. Call Bill and let him play dead here. Gosh. Jerome, just trust me, no man. You go see how much police and army man coming up in here. Just lie down there. Hey, 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 call Bill and tell him lie down there. The whole month you ain't tell me lie down there. Uh, Jerome, just lie down there. You ask me in your eye, you know. Lord have mercy. Ships, man. Come, I'm gonna call the police station now. Lie down. When, 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 when Shh, woman and you me. can't make no noise, eh, Jerome? Oh, I, mean, I can't make no noise. <coughs> oh, you cannot call me, that's Jerome. I can't call for call. What you gonna do? <laughs> Chips, man. Don't worry, I'll go work. Trust Nicole, me. Nicole, this thing you're feeling right now. Don't worry, go work. Just let it oh, Don't move at all. All right, okay. Shh. Shh, shh, shh. You're calling the police? Yes, I'm going to call them. Okay, all right. Come on, come on. Don't police, make man. a sound, Jerome. <laughs> oh, gosh, no, Jerome. You can't make no noise, Jerome. All right, Jerome. I'm trying, I'm trying. Shh. It's ringing. It's ringing, Jerome. It's ringing, all right. Shh. All right, call the police. Um, hello? This is the police station? Oh, shit, this is the police station. You're calling. Shut the damn is not your... <laughs> No, 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 officer, not you, not you. Um, listen to me, officer. An incident happened by we and... What is the incident? Who is we? Who is we, Jerome? Me and Jerome. Who the hell is me and Jerome? Yes, no, officer. And... Surname. Yes, your surname. Riley. You're riling them up. <laughs> 14 Anna Street, Woodbrook. Good, you're getting the address. They're coming. Right. No, listen to me, officer. No, 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 listen. A bandit was in my house. Yes, and my husband kill him. What? <laughs> yes, he kill him. He kill him. Wait, 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 they go, they go. In the living hey. room, he lie long in the living room. Hey. Yes, oh, officer. Food. Yes. Hello. Hello. You see? You see? I tell him go walk there. Nicole, 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 Nicole. Shh. What? What? Who you tell him get killed? 
The bandit. Ah, yeah, you tell them you lying down in the living room. That is what I tell them. That is what I hear you say. Shh. But man, I get confused. What did you want me to do? Okay, 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 Don't worry. Message. He can figure it out when you reach. Lie down. Okay, Shh. okay. Shh. 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 Oh, shit. Who's that? Who's that? You see, I tell oh, you no one. Okay. Shh. You can't make no noise. Lie down stiff. Okay, okay, okay. Officer. <laughs> Right this way, officer. Right this way. He right here, like no. On the go. What? Let's go, what? Oh what? Let's go, what? Hey, may you hear, officer? Night, same day. Yes. Oh God. Where the blood? Throw ketchup. Throw ketchup. Where what? your husband? He in the house. Oh God. Jesus. You know how to take the two all down. For what? Oh. It have a man dead there. All your questions stand. Well, let's say the first time of a someone that didn't call, or they didn't come, and the bandit was in my house. And where the bandit now? Oh God. I'm explaining. Oh God. God. You sure that man dead? Yeah, yeah, you see yeah, yeah. me? I am able with this. Not me. I can't take it. I can't take it. I thought you dead. Oh God. Sorry. I'm going back. <laughs> what do you ask going on here? Well, let's see, officer. As I tell you, the first time I didn't call, all of them come. So my husband decided to play dead. You're lying, so you lying, you're coming to play dead. And you shut him out in the night, you playing dead, you know. Shit. Hey. So, what? I don't take the toll, you don't know. For what? Waste them police time. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Uh -huh. What if we're waiting on the police to come and the police wasted me time? Tell him, yes. Tell him. That don't count. Let me go. It don't count. It don't count. Oh, because you're romantic. Nicole, Nicole, don't, Nicole, man, Nicole, don't oh, tell me not to please. Try something, don't man. tell me not to please. Leave me alone, man. Let me leave you alone. I tell you, you're romantic. Hey, what? What? Oh, what do you want me to do, man? What? Hey. What? what? You know the two all you make for one another? That is police harassment. Look, get out the house. What? What? Get out the house. Which house? Get out the house. My house? You know, come inside my house and tell me get out of my house. We pay all the money. Oh Lord, I'm not saying. And you tell us we get out. We have Nicole. Just Nicole. You tell us we get out. What? Gun. 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 Well, we are back on Caribbean Inside, and we are chatting with the Caribbean's king of comedy, Mr. Larry Joseph. Mm -hmm. We have seen him as a schoolboy. We have heard him in his chase for the hookers, mm -hmm. and we loved him as a police officer. But Larry, mm -hmm. when the history books are written, mm -hmm. how would you like to be remembered? <laughs> this might sound joke to you, but I would love to people to remember me as Dr. Larry Joseph, because I'm the one who gave the most medicine out in the world here, okay? I, I mean, this is not a joke, all right? Mm -hmm. I would like people to remember, remember the things I've said about my life, you know, how I've, uh, how I've grown out of poverty, how I've grown out of destitution. I would like to be remembered because you see when people remember stuff like that and they see that I'm no longer like that, they will have an idea that things could change to be better for anyone. I just want to be remembered as Larry Joseph, the doctor, Dr. Larry, who makes you laugh. Who makes you laugh, right. Well, so I just want people to remember me for that kind of thing, the fact that I, bring, I brought joy, uh, you know, not comedy, but joy mm -hmm. and happiness to a whole lot of people mm -hmm. who might have been going through a whole lot of sadness. Okay, Dr. Larry? <laughs> well, TV family, you've met him, you've seen him, and you've heard him. He gave you his journey. He inspired the young. He lifted the weak, and he did everything to make you laugh. Larry, I want to thank you yes, for coming on. I didn't do one thing. What you didn't do? that I hope you're taping this. I didn't do this. People in the world, I want to thank you all for making my life 
a much better life. Thank you so much. You just heard the reasons why you need him. He's an inspirator mm -hmm. and he, the advice for the young, don't give up. He is a shining example of it. Larry, thank you so much for being on the show. Oh, Lord, V, V, you're welcome, you know. Yeah, man, I and I so, enjoy the ambience of your yard. I am yard. so happy to be talking to you so long in my yard. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. Watch now. This is so nice. Yeah. You know, I've never invited any other people, TV station or anything in my yard. Well, thank you. I actually What's the name of your, 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 your... Caribbean Inside TV. You see Caribbean Inside TV? The inside Larry Joseph Yard. And I'm telling you that the only pe pe persons will be here. This was really wonderful. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Billie Jean is not my love. She's just a girl. But that little white boy, he is the one. And Michael, what games do you play when the boys come over to the ranch? Oh my God, it's so funny you would ask. There's this one game. It's called Ride the Ponies Back. You see, first you get some grease or some baby oil or my personal favorite, spit. And then you grease the ponies back and the side, but more the back, yeah, the back, yeah, the back. And then you get on this pony and you ride and you ride and you ride and you ride and you ride. And you ride, and you ride. Okay, Michael, okay, Michael, 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 Michael. Jean, Billy Jean is not my love. She's just a girl, but that little white boy, he is the one. And Michael, what games do you play when the boys come over to the ranch? Oh my God, it's so funny you would ask. There's this one game, it's called Ride the Ponies Back. You see, first you get some grease or some baby oil or my personal favorite, spit. And then you grease the pony's back and the side, but more the back, yeah, the back, yeah, the back. And then you get on this pony and you ride and you ride and you ride and you ride and you ride. And you ride, and you ride, and you ride. When you were arrested, how was your stay? Oh my God, I was disgusted. They put me in the cell with these big, black, strong, ooh, African men. And this one time, I was bathing. And what happened? And I dropped my soap. Oh my God. And I was looking for it. And then I was like, all I heard was, oh. <laughs> I was not alone. There was something inside of me. And boy, did it hurt. Felt like it was made from dirt. Michael, Mike, you, you look pale. Would you like something to drink? Won't mind. What would you like? A little boy. A little boy. White in color, less gas. <laughs> oh God, Michael, look at me on the stage now. Um, Michael, the report says that the boy was around the age of 14, isn't it? <laughs> well, he was already past the age of 12, and we do know that after 12 is... Got that right. <laughs> and, Michael, what could you have told a 14-year-old to get him to stay the night? 
Hold me, show me your body, help me free will. Like the river Jordan. Oh. Michael, are you okay? Oh my um, Michael, oh. what's your reaction to the DEA oh. putting you away? Oh. Everyone's taking control of me. Seems like the whole world's against me. Miss Reporter, stop looking at my booms. You were there for me to help me free will. Hold me, wow. hold me, show me your body. Janet, do that already. Oh, that's it. Okay, 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 Michael. Michael, thank you, thank you. And um, we're glad you're here, and we're wondering if there's anything more you'd like to say before you leave. There's this one thing I must say before I go. In my stay in your beautiful island, Trinidad, Sprang Lang invited me over to sleep with him this one night. that I said, Sprang, might I have something to drink? And he was like, go to the refrigerator, help yourself, get whatever you like. And when I got to the refrigerator, and I opened the door, <gasps> y'all wouldn't believe what I saw. His backyard. Hey, <laughs> hey, Cross dressing, asteroid, your black asteroid, your white, anorexic ass. Don't put me in your damn foolishness. Let me hear you. Excuse me, mister. I see like you're only hitting me below the belt. But for me to hit you below yours, you got to raise your tummy first. When I will plant my foot so far up in your ass, it will grow. Here's who? Here's your bodyguard. You resemble with the Houston and two. Let's go, let's go. People, Larry Joseph is not retired. I'm still around. My manager has a number. And she does WhatsApp and thing, right? My manager's number is 499-3705. Well, TV family, we have come to the end of a fantastic session with the Caribbean king of comedy, Mr. Larry Joseph. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next week, same time, same place. God bless. I am DJ HD, and from HD Live, and I endorse Caribbean Insight 100%.